All right, so um, now we've shown some really good examples of a high porosity and a low porosity, high permeability and a low permeability. Um, the thing that uh, we need to impress is that even though the difference between those permeabilities was obvious, it is still a high permeability, the slow moving material. Um, if we have a material that moves almost no water through it, what would it be called? Aquatard. An aquatard is exactly right. So <laughs> since we showed that a finer grain sand moves water much slowly, what material would an aquatard, a material that moves water almost at a zero pace, make, be made of? Slate. Slate is a great answer. What is the um, what is the sedimentary rock that is made from slate, that slate is made from? Slate's the metamorphic rock? Oh, shale. Shale is the sedimentary rock? Okay. And what's the sediment? Sand. Not sand. What's the small grain size? Clay. Clay. Clay is exactly right. Thank you. So, if we have a, if we draw a picture and we have a, couple of layers of different material. Let's say that this one up here is a shale. These dashes mean it's fine grain. <coughs> this material here is a sandstone. These dots means it's sand. And this material down here is a shale, another shale. Okay. Which one of these three would be the aquifer. Middle, the middle is right. Aquifer. And which of these would be the aquatar? The top and the bottom. The top and the bottom. That's right. They both are. Yes. Aquatar. Did you write aquatar over there for me? All right. So, um, and then let's also assume that above this aquatard, we have one more aquifer. Okay? 